Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Punk Rock Review, home of a bunch of opinionated crap you don't care about. Also, the home of the feedback you provide that we don't care about keeps us on an even playing field. And we like that. Real quick shout out to our sponsor, absolutely no one. Feel bad and give us money. Anyhow, moving straight into it today. Today, we're going to be talking about a product that's been on the market for years and years. How many years? Uh, who cares? It doesn't matter. We, of course, are talking about the one and only Kit Kat. But, but we aren't talking about just the regular, run-of-the-mill, traditional Kit Kat. No way. We are talking about Kit Kat Dark. That's right. Look at this visual aid that we have here for your enjoyment of our enjoyment and consumption enjoyment. Uh, so, this is Kit Kat Dark, man. These are crisp wafers and dark chocolate and uh you know these have been around for you know probably at least a year or two probably more than that who cares it doesn't matter let's see if kit kat's on to something with uh you know doing this well first and foremost this is definitely a tiny package they call them fun size but the only thing fun about it is getting more when you run out which is pretty often because uh you know this should really be the little fun size and they should have more than just this so kit kat you owe us like thirteen thousand dollars so we can go buy a little more kit kat okay Ooh, look you can break it apart just like normal left versus right right huh oh no that's twix well whatever mm. Mm. so they definitely have the crisp wafers in there and they are, like they say, encased in dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. Look how crappy these graphics are. Mm. Mm. So, if we were being honest, and we always are, give us money. We want your money. See how honest? Kit Kat Dark really probably is our least favorite of the Kit Kats that they offer. Nah, we know what you're going to say. Who cares? Well, and you'd be absolutely right. Who cares? But milk chocolate Kit Kats seem to sit way better with us uh, as far as the flavor they provide and everything like that. Now, we can eat the Kit Kat Dark Chocolate, but when we do such, uh, it really is more just like, uh, okay... You don't have any regular Kit Kats. I guess we'll go ahead and just eat a, uh, you know, dark chocolate Kit Kat. Uh, but, man, the flavor definitely is not your traditional run-of-the-mill Kit Kat. And that's because that dark chocolate, the bitterness in it, and the undertones and everything, uh, you know, just really kind of show through on top of the crisp wafer that's contained with inside. So when those mix... They, you know, don't go together as cohesively as the milk chocolate ones go. But, of course, we are a refined uh, reviewer here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can see we're obviously eating it. Mm-hmm. 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 Wow. Someone probably likes them. So Kit Kat, I guess you can keep making them. But we prefer the milk chocolate Kit Kats. And some of the other flavors too that you crazy bastards have done over the years. Presumably, I don't know, maybe you haven't. We're pretty sure you have. Uh, anyhow, dark chocolate Kit Kats. What can be said about these ones? Well, they get a uh, good old fashioned uh, check. Or check them out if you're into dark chocolate. You might very well enjoy it or like it. Maybe skip over it if, uh, you know, you're not into dark chocolate because it does have that bitter taste to it. But inevitably, it is a Kit Kat, and Kit Kats are delicious. So, Kit Kat, we said your product's delicious. Give us $13,000. Fair trade. Quid pro quo, Kit Kat. Quid pro quo. Have a good one. You probably didn't. We'll catch you next time. Probably won't.